Uh, hi ladies and gentlemen, Murino Ravenberg here. I am going to discuss in this video, I'm going to give you guys my take on pagan gods overall and in general. But before I do so, I... Okay, um, I'm sorry. I was distracted by a spirit. I'm sorry. Uh, before I do so, I uh, for people that came to this YouTube video directly, uh, you can just go to the description below for my the two articles that I wrote on pagan gods. It's just a list of mo and rather than more of an article with uh, the correspondences of uh, general general pagan gods that are generally popular. Okay, just uh, the generic uh, pagan gods that we all know uh, that are popular overall in in the media and that are well known, as in from the Egyptian pantheon. The Egyptian uh, structure, power structure, spiritual power structure, the Egyptian hierarchy, the Greek hierarchy, and so on. So those uh, links are in the description below. I, uh, like I said, I wrote two articles on them. It's literally just a list, and there's not a lot to say in the sense that uh, pagan gods are. They're just that. They're pagan gods. They are not individual entities so much that uh, were created by God, okay? They're man-made, uh, so basically artificial entities that have... Uh, were, just ignore the ringtone. That were created uh, by man unintentionally, either intentionally or unintentionally. If it would be intentionally, then one would call that an egregore or a thought form, a self-created thought form. Uh, the way that I'm sitting here, I can also create an egregore for someone like that. And I'll give that person all the correspondences of said egregore, that self-made spirit, and so on. The drawbacks of those are that they're not strong in the beginning, but what do you expect, okay? it's You don't expect it to be strong, the one you created. The benefit is that there's no limit to how much you can grow, and that you'll grow stronger in time. This the same way that I grow stronger over time, and that any one of you can grow stronger over time, and more adept at what you do. There is no limit. The sky's the limit. Uh, regarding pagan gods, like I said, most of these were unintentionally, most, if all, if not at the very least, most of them were unintentionally created. To simply explain uh, the things that happened that people back then, in those times, the times in which those civilizations flourished, that they didn't understand, okay, and that's normal. Just put yourself, for example, in the shoes of uh, a Greek, someone who lived um, in BC times before Christ and or in any case in um, a time in in a time that is is the exact opposite of what the time we're living with now okay imagine living back then in those primitive times uh, compared to today's modern technology and everything and and you'll see that um, I'm sorry you'll have to excuse me I I don't like working with pagan gods uh, but my patron is telling me right now and I'm also noticing that Horus is standing beside me the Egyptian god Horus uh, he's not saying he's not saying anything. He's not telling me anything. But he is. Um, no, he just left. Okay. Uh, no, he was just uh, spectating. He was just looking at what it is that I was doing. I'm I'm not worried, but um, I'm not worried, but um, I'm just wondering, curious. Yeah. Um, in any case, uh, yeah, my patron is telling me to just go on, go on, go on. Uh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> not that I'm worried. That's what I was telling him just now. I'm not worried, but um, I'm curious. What the, what's Horus doing here? In any case, um, uh, most of these guys were unintentionally created. And put your, place yourself in the shoes of someone that was lived back then in those uh, primitive times, and you basically saw you saw weather going nuts. You saw thunderstorms. You saw hurricanes and everything. And people back then were like. There has to be a higher being that is responsible for this, for what we're seeing right now, this this weather anomaly, for for all this 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 weather chaos and the, these storms and everything. And voila! Before you knew it, um, roughly stated, someone came along and someone just invented this entity. For example, uh, this entity Zeus is responsible for all things relating to the weather. That's why most pagan uh, civilizations, uh, their gods all have dominion over one or multiple aspects of life. You've got a god for the weather, you've got a god for the sea, you've got a god for, for the land itself, the flourishing of land and the drought of it, you name it. You've got a god that deals with animals, it just uh, never ends. And yeah, that is practically it. 
they and that's how it simply happened okay they said okay let's worship this god then to, to appease him to see to him that uh, to see to it that he gets on our side which, which is normal i mean if you thought to, if you had the same thought process if you thought the same thing i mean you'd want to have a god that supports agriculture on your side it's best not to tick that god off and to ask that god to see to it that um, your farmland flourishes and that it stays flourishing and that uh, and that you just prosper overall instead of the exact opposite leaving you without any food or nothing okay just uh, plunging your life into chaos and you don't want that into famine and chaos you don't want that and yeah this is the case with most of them um the greeks for example had what they had zeus they had hades and they had poseidon zeus ruled uh, the air poseidon ruled the sea uh, hades ruled the underworld and funny enough most of these civilizations they have um, most of these civilizations they most of these civilizations they all of them more or less if again if not at the very least most of them they most of them they all of them have have some kind of devil figure all of them have a god that corresponds to the underworld basically a god which in christian which christian really converted or converted into uh, today by today's standards and into christianity can be placed on equal footing with with satan or basically the devil uh, a representation of of hell and and eternal torment and pain of su- and suffering uh, in any case, these gods becomes these gods are literally just egregores, and they became stronger over time, which is normal. Uh, even if someone were to make the mistake of worshiping a human being, a dead human being, that person would be be uh, that person would be able to ascend to godlike uh, levels, or to, they w- that person is capable of being lifted up to a godlike status, simply due due to the excessive amount of worship and the long term amount of worship that that is. Um, basically aimed or pointed towards him or her i mean if i'm dead and people start worshiping me over the course of a thousand years let's say 10 centuries and and people bring all kinds of stuff to me make all kinds of offerings to me i will have gotten obvious it's obvious that i will have gotten a lot stronger i'll have uh, figuratively speaking the strength of what a million men i will be a god then instead of just being another dead another dead person another soul i will have ascended to a godlike statuses to a godlike status and that's the case with most of these gods because people back then were a lot more devoted to their religions okay that's why they built huge temples for example in egypt they made extensive offerings i mean these people were really loyal to their gods they pledged their internal loyalty they would give up their lives even for their god without blinking an eye so much more or less so yeah that's definitely something to keep in mind and in my article i list the basic things okay i i've just uh, given a list of well-known gods um, again more or less gods that are well known to gods that are um, intermediately known uh from all pantheons the greek the egyptian pantheon the hindu pantheon and so on and with their correspondences because gods like any other entity uh, also have uh, correspondences as in planetary and zodiacal correspondences and several skills and yeah that's pretty much it